Good afternoon, Scarview 131, Rocky Patel's Hamlet, 25th year. Decent scar, so it's a five and a half inch, 50 ring gauge, Nicaraguan made. He came out with a name because Hamlet Herodis, whose name I probably just butchered. Worked there for apparently 25 years at Rocky Patel. Came out with a bunch of blends, and this is kind of a celebration of him. It, it's okay. So initially I got some kind of gunpowder on the nose. And the more I smoke it, it's primarily chocolate flavors. So I'm getting a little tiramisu, a little chocolate, almost a yeast and dough. I mean, it's almost a cigar equivalent, I guess, of a donut. Um, it's okay. These flavors are relatively mild. They're not super strong. The gunpowder is dissipated at this point. It's really just chocolate and um, kind of dough, kind of yeast. It's okay, it's drawing well, it's burning about as evenly as I could wish the cigar to burn. The problem is there's just, to me, not a lot going on. Now, I was smoking this and I thought, all right, not bad. I would definitely pay six or seven dollars for this. I would definitely pay six, I don't know about seven. And I looked it up, it's nine bucks. Uh, there's no way. I, I would definitely not pay nine dollars for this. When you get into the nine dollar price range, you can get much, much, much better cigars than this cigar. I think it came with a Cigar International kind of Cigar of the Month, so I probably didn't pay that much for it. In fact, I'm sure I didn't, but that's the street price. So I, for the value, would go with a just totally strong, don't buy. Uh, that being said, if someone was to show up at my house with these, I'd actually be pretty pleased that you could do a lot worse than this cigar. So at six bucks, if you somehow are able to get it, buy. Seven dollars neutral, nine dollars absolutely no way. That's it for Cigar Review 131. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. As always, thank you for watching.